My name is Tom Christiansen and I am a Norwegian flight sim pilot. Uh, what you are seeing in front of me is the flight planning tool uh, skyvector.com. Uh, you can find this uh, web page by using this uh, link skyvector.com. Uh, what you're seeing in front of me is the uh, flight plan that we are going to create from uh, scratch. What I first have to do is actually to uh, delete uh, my flight plan. Uh, you can f uh, find uh, and plan your flight plan by pressing flight plan up left corner and you will have this window uh, up. We are going to fly from uh, Pensacola Naval Air Station to New Orleans Naval Air Station i will insert the departure airport, in this case KNPA, and press add. And here you see Pensacola Naval Air Station, and it's also found in center of your screen. And next is the arrival airport, in this case is KNBG, New Orleans Naval Air Station. Uh, by default, uh, Skyvector's takes you over the ocean and over the warning area and the alert area. Uh, we are going to fly around this MOA by using VOR or we can uh, use the NDB or uh, airport as waypoints. Uh, the VOR points are this type of symbol around as a, let's say a clock. And you, in order to um, create a, a new heading to that uh, VOR, we're going to drag this line, just drag it up to over the VOR signal, release, and press plan. But that is not the VOR we're going to use, we're actually going to use uh, this one. The next I want to do is to use this VOR so we can fly around this MOA. MOA stands for Military Operation Area and no civilian pilots can use it. And the next I take this line. So I'm not going to use this line because I will actually fly uh, over Pensacola North MOA you will see that's wrong this line will be more correct Pre uh, released over the uh, uh, VOR and press plan here's the VOR signal the next VOR I'm going to use is this VOR Ethan uh, I'm going to drag the line over and release it and press plan. And here I did a uh, error on purpose, actually, so we can correct this error. Uh, we can press uh, the VOR uh, waypoint and delete or we can go on uh, this side which I'm going to use and take the Ethan VOR and drag it down just hold your left mouse over that and drag it down and then you see your uh, flight plan is uh, changing but still we are going around that MOA <coughs> and of course the next the thing I can use is the uh, non-directional beacon which can be found here or I can use the non-directional -di beacon uh, here but this is only a, a VOR uh, flight plan so this is pretty much it of visual reference uh, what you're seeing here is the heading from Pensacola 
to uh, the first VOR is 294 and the distance is uh, 58 nautical miles and you will see that on all uh, changing uh, heading uh, which you can also be found here uh, here's the heading here's the uh, distance and here's the time uh, from uh, Pensacola to uh, this waypoint this will be on the middle so uh, I figured out this will take one hour and fifty minutes and I will use less time on this uh, flight so I'm going to uh, insert 220 knots and then you see the time is changing from one hour to fifty minutes to one hour and thirty minutes the distance is still the same so what can I do with this flight there are two different things uh, you can uh, print it out and you will have it on a nice PDF file with uh, no uh, flight plan only the uh, sky vector map of that particular area or you can press link up here there are many benefits and one of them is when you're doing flight school you can uh, take a copy of that link and send it to your instructor so he can see your flight plan or even he can make some uh, changes on your flight plan if he if he feels free to it just uh, use control C on your keyboard or you can right click and uh, choose copy and that uh, link work as uh, any other uh, URL link so if I'm opening a uh, Internet Explorer or an another browser or the instructor gets the link uh, and uh, I can uh, paste it there and you'll, he will see uh, the actual flight plan that I have this is pretty much it of using uh, Sky Vector as a great flight planning tool. Uh, a good flight is a good prep flight, I call it. Uh, just uh, look around and create your own flight uh, plan and have a nice flight.